In this video, we're talking about sending offers to buyers on eBay. Check it out. All right, it's Joe here with the Family Flips YouTube channel, and we are full-time resellers. Uh, we buy stuff uh, from liquidators, uh, online places, garage sales, thrift stores, all kinds of places. We turn around, we resell those items on eBay and Amazon. We give videos just like this one that encourages, empowers, and also equips people to uh, pursue after their dreams. So uh, if that's something that you're wanting to see more of, subscribe to our channel, turn on notifications, and uh, that way you'll be notified when we release new content. But today we're talking about sending offers to buyers on eBay. And if you are an eBay seller, you probably know about this feature that they started, I don't know, probably four or five months ago. So we're gonna go ahead and jump onto uh, my computer and do a little split screen action. And uh, I'll show you how to do it on your computer first if you don't know how to do so already. All right, so here we go on my computer. And uh, this is the normal eBay back office. And you can see the title up there in the description bar or the little web address bar. It's got that. So you can't access it from here. And if, you're, if you've been selling eBay for a while, you watch any of your YouTube videos, you've probably seen another uh, YouTube e eBay seller talking about this very way. And I get it. But I'm just going to refresh and put it into remembrance. And also, if, if you're new, that uh, you may not have known about this little trick. So in order to access the ability to send people offers, what you'll need to do is we'll put a link down in the description for what you need to write in your address bar of your web browser to get to the area where you need to, uh, where you are able to send offers. But it's just www.ebay.com forward slash MYS forward slash overview. Uh, and once you're to that page, you'll have to be signed into eBay, all that. It's just kind of the old system. It's got items that you've shipped, or that, are, that are paid for, ready to ship. It's got returns there. And then here's the area that we're talking about, being able to send offers to buyers. Is right now, I've got five offers that are there that I can send an offer to a buyer. So it's pretty self-explanatory. We're going to use one of those right now. I'm just going to send an offer to this Samsung Galaxy S3 buyer. It's a crack, a fair condition. Got it listed for 22 bucks. I've had it listed for a while. It's got a bad charging port. I'm just going to enter a price. So usually it would show here. If you see here, it's got one interested buyer. That's generally how many uh, buyers you have who are watching your items. But if you send, if if you use this offer to send this opportunity to send people offers you'll notice that you may have four people watching it but you if you've already sent offers it's not going to send the offers to everybody it's going to show send the offers to new potential buyers you also you can only send an offer to a buyer five times before you are no longer able to send that buyer an offer but this one's listed for 22 bucks i've had it listed for a couple weeks I'm gonna try and sell it for $18. Uh, I'm still comfortable with that part, that profit margin. It's yeah, granted, it's $4.50 less, um, which is you know a, I can't do the math. 25% off, roughly, 30% off, 30% low offer. Some people they wouldn't do that. For me, I'm comfortable with it. It really depends on where you are comfortable. But if you're sending offers to buyers and you're only sending it like a dollar or two less, you're probably not gonna get somebody to accept your offer because they probably would have already made you an offer. So using this, you're gonna to wanna to send them an offer that's gonna be a, uh, an offer that they cannot refuse, uh, but offer or actually uh, uh, an offer that you are comfortable with accepting. So we're gonna send that buyer an offer and it's gonna pop up and it's gonna say this little thing here shortly saying you have sent the offer to a buyer. They've got 24 hours or 48 hours to accept the offer. So unfortunately, there's no real easy way to get back to the other screen. So you've got to re-enter it into the address bar. But if you've entered in before, it's going to be right there for you to send it to. So that pops back up to that screen. And now I have 
five more offers. There's another one here, this one here that wasn't there before. So eventually, if you've been sending offers to people, you know that eventually you will not be able to send anybody else any offers, that it will stop. You only get so many uh, ways to send an offer this way, So, uh, which goes to the cell phone. So here shortly, we're gonna jump onto the cell phone and uh, I'm gonna show you what I do there to send people offers. All right, so here we are, we got my phone here and uh, it's a little blurry, I'm sorry about that, but uh, I think you can see it well enough to uh, be able to uh, see what is going on. So the last couple of updates, I think it was maybe two updates ago, uh, this little feature popped up on uh, your phone. Uh, this is Android phone. Uh, I know I've looked at it for my wife's phone and operates pretty much the same, but it looks a little bit differently. So this is an Android phone. So you can see here, I'm able to send offers to uh, potential buyers uh, right from uh, my phone. So uh, this is nothing new. You, if you've been selling eBay, you probably already know this, but if you didn't, here we go. This pretty much works just like the, uh, um, the website I just showed you. It's got the same items that are there. So I'll send an offer just to one of these buyers. Um, just so that you can kind of see the process of how it looks on the phone. $23, I'm gonna go $19 on that one. And uh, it's got one interested buyer, they've got 48 hours, uh, estimated total, we're gonna send that offer. So congrats, we sent a one-time offer, right? So that freshes up, and then you'll see there's five more offers, but this time, this one pops up, and you'll see that these will filter through and eventually they will stop working, right? And you won't have any more offers that you can send to people. But I'm gonna show you a way that I have found to be able to send an offer to a lot more people than what they give you the opportunity to do so. One of those ways I'm gonna show you, or the way to show you, is if you click your active listings, and you can't do this from your computer, I've only seen this be able to work from your phone. So. You see here, it's got all of the active listings. I've got 546 active listings, uh, but I'm gonna sort this. So I'm gonna hit sort, and I'm actually gonna go by most watched buyers, all right? And you can sort different ways, which I'll so show you. It's like right here, the first one, it's got this uh, little solar uh, hybrid charging thing. I'm gonna send people an offer. I got eight watchers, I haven't sold it yet. Uh, I'm going to send an offer for 90 bucks. I've had this for a couple months and I'm ready to get rid of it. So I'm going to send it. It's got two interested buyers. So uh, what that means is that I had eight people watching, but only two interested buyers because I've already sent the other six offers and they have not accepted it yet. So we're going to send that out. And then it pops up, right? So then that goes away. As you'll see there, I cannot send an offer to them anymore. We're gonna keep scrolling down. As you see here, this phone was an item that I was able to send an offer the other way. I'm not gonna worry about sending an offer. You keep scrolling down. Oh, you got one there. You've got this Kyra Sierra Jax that you can send an offer to. I got another one. This one just popped up the last time. We got another one there we can send offers to. Keep scrolling down. Oh, there's another one that's there I can send an offer to. Another one you can send an offer to. Um, another one, just lots of different phones now. Get through that notification. But there's lots of other items that now I can send offers to. So if you're like me and you use this uh, sending offers as an everyday part of your routine and you run out of people to make offers to, uh, I believe adding this uh, feature to your daily routine or every other day or whenever you do it is going to help you sell some more items. So once you scroll by that, there's another one that was on there before, that one was not. You can do all kinds of sort. You can sort it by ending the latest, if it's an item that you just listed, uh, or if it's something that's been listed for a long time, that maybe, you know, it doesn't have watchers, but it may have one watcher that you didn't access the other way. But I usually will sort by a couple different ways and uh, send the offers that way. All right, so I hope that you have liked this video. Uh, I believe if you use it, you are going to uh, make some more sales. Uh, if you've liked it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button also if you haven't subscribed to our channel already. 
uh, and appreciate you guys watching. Uh, until next time, peace.